Hi, Angie here, and welcome back to the uh, Craft With Me mini album mini series. And we are working on this little tiny album. And it looks like it's going to have quite a bit of room in there. So, little brag book, I guess. It only measures five and a half by four and a half. And then the spine is actually three inches, so it's a fat little spine. Um, what got this book started was um, Tamara Merrill, I believe it's I believe it's how you pronounce your last name on at Country Craft Creations showed how to do this new spine, this new binding system, where it, the um, outer core, the um, cover, the covers of the book, back and front pages, actually go on the outside of the back of the spine. So anyway, I wanted to try it out. And, well, you know, here we are. So, so when I left you, we, I told you we were doing a one, two, three, and a three, two, one, which means one and five are the same, two and four, and oh, wait, <laughs> Ooh, cut all that, cut all that, one and six are the same, two and five, and three and four. So basically, they're the same layout. So that's what I kind of came up with, except for this one has a little belly band on it. And I did make the first and last very similar. Um, use the same papers except for inside here. I did have to cut my last little piece off on this edge at an angle, a, a steeper angle, because it was getting in the way of the back cover and it was just bending so I just went ahead and removed it. Okay, so now we are going to work on the inside front cover. And I'll tell you what I've come up with. I have measured a piece of base paper. It is the same size as these, except for it fits, it may be, it's a little longer, see? It's longer because this, this is deeper then we could make those. So this is my piece of base paper to go on this album. And I want to put it, oh, I want to kind of center it in this inside front um, paper that we have on here. But I do want to flip it over because I don't want my pencil mark showing. So we will begin with that. So after you cut this piece to fit the inside of your front cover, then follow along with me and we'll get moving on creating the base pages and uh, see what we come up with. How's that sound? So it's a little chilly here, um, 
So I've been keeping my glue warm all day. And <laughs> not super warm, but the house is warm. But uh, this room always, it stays cold. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just always been like that. I try to keep the door open, but then the cats come in and like to find plastic to chew on. And I can't keep everything put away. Or they like to chew on my snippets. My These are my snippets, by the way. Just playing around with what I have as leftovers. Just little snippets that'll go on junk journals. So that's what those are. They're not for this album. They're um, when I make my junk journal, they may go in it. Um, just trying to find uh, something to do with my scraps and want to use up, use them up if I can. Okay. I don't know what I was saying prior to me get carried away with another train of thought. But I'll come back to it if I remember it. <laughs> oh, I was keeping my glue warm. Um, this room stays kind of chilly. And so I came in and put all my glues under my... Um, I have one of those elbow lights up there, whatever you call them. The lamps that you can bend over your table. Uh, so I set all my glue on it, the base of it there. And I let them stay warm during the day when it's too cold in here. That way if I come in and decide to craft, it's easy. I can just come in and craft and my glue will be ready to go. But like I was saying, I can't leave my room, art room open because the kitty cats seem to think that it's fun time in here. Okay, so there's our base. It's, I hope I don't have it on there crooked. And then I made this page. I scored a half an inch. And I'm just using the scrap paper. I have, it measures four and seven eighths. And then I scored at four and seven eighths from the half inch. I did the half inch, folded it, measured four and seven eighths scored. If you want the full measurement, it would be scored a half inch, score again at five and seven sixteenths. So I folded those and I folded this little one under. I did not cut it off. I'm going to make it into a pocket. But before we glue the pocket, we need to put our base paper on. So let's go ahead and glue this flap on. Now, when you do this one, whoops, hang on. You don't want to um, have it come all the way to the edge because it will um, interfere with your opening and closing of the album. Okay, hope none of that dried. It did. I'm going to squish it around a little bit. See if I can get it to reactivate. It dries, as you know, or glitter glue dries fast. Okay. is off just a little bit but I think it's going to be okay okay 
Remember, I was going to turn that one upside down to get rid of the pencil lines. Huh, I forgot. And this one got a little stain on it from inks. Let's erase that pencil line. Okay. The next page that I want to put on is this one. So I just cut a strip of paper the width of this. And the width of mine is four and one eighth. Or let's see, it's very close to four. This one's four and a sixteenth. Or just slightly more. Oh. So anyway, I cut a strip. I scored it at half an inch. And then I scored it again at three eighths, I believe. No, sorry. Half an inch and five eighths. So a half inch, then I scored one eighth inch more. At, so it's five eighths. And then I scored it again at five and a half inches. And I folded each of those and we're going to apply that to this side. So that's a single flip with a pocket. This is going to be a double. It's just going to flip flip. I'm going to trim this down this time. Just makes it nicer when we put our paper on the base unit not to see all the edges of everything. Okay, you might want to fold your 1 8 inch difference down in, out this way. Let me just make sure those line up good. Okay. Okay. Then the next one I measured I measured it for the base for here. Let me make sure this is going to indeed fit. <laughs> if it doesn't fit, then we don't want to put it there. So it's going to go like this. And let's talk about its measurements. This time the width is five and one eighth. Or, yeah, the width, five and one eighth. Then I cut a long strip at five and one eighth. I just cut it down my 12 inch paper. You see, it's almost at 12 inches now. So I scored it at a half inch, and then I scored it again at three quarters of an inch. I've gone up another eighth of an inch. So. We did an eighth here. We've gone an even eighth, an eighth even more here, or a fourth. So we have, yeah, we went an eighth. I'm sorry. Um, but a fourth more from where we were here. Um, then I scored it at. Four and eleven sixteenths. And then I scored it again at eight and three sixteenths of an inch. And then I cut off 
the end at 11 and 3 quarters. That's all so that it would fit inside of here. You can see there's a little bit of room there. I didn't want it to be too tight. So let's open these up and get them out of our way. Let's give just a slight angle trim to this bottom piece. Attach some glue or apply some glue. Oh my gosh, I hear somebody mowing. It's been pouring down rain all day. <laughs> Their grass must need to be mowed. But I wouldn't want to mow today. Okay, you're going to want to kind of lay this down. And make sure that your album can close on those appropriate fold lines. And that it's, it's squared up with the base piece. Burnish it down. Wipe away any excess glue. Okay. So we have this one. This one is an eighth more. And this one goes up another eighth on the edge. So can you guess? Yes, my friends. The next one goes up another eighth. I just added another eighth as it got fatter. And it is going to go right in here. So let's just have a look at it so we can see why I did that. Because we want it to fit inside of our album nice and neatly. Just like that. And look at that. It takes up just the right amount of space. So our album has a nice place for pictures. Now, the last page, it won't be as thick as this one. But by doing the album this way, it allowed us to make kind of a, a uh, nice large photo area for here and maybe mementos in these. We still have little cards to make for the insides of these pockets right here. Okay, so let's glue this top piece on. I'm going to turn my book around so that I'm looking at this side. I'm going to clip those slightly. There we go. And apply some glue here. Now really, I didn't put any other pockets in this page. We may, we may end up doing that. But right now, I don't have any other pockets in it other than the very first flip page. I put a pocket. Once again, we're going to line this up. And it's going to be important that it lines up with this bottom one. So run it on over there to the other side and make sure that it lines up. Then make sure that the pages will close over it. Okay, they will. Okay. 
All right, let's make sure it fits correct. Okay, fold those in, fold that over, and you can probably guess now, we're going to need to make a placement for two magnets. So we will put those right down here on the, on, oh dear, where will we put them? Let's think about this. They really need to go there. It's a little bit off right there. I don't like that. Let's see. Maybe. So when it comes to magnets, we really do have to think and consider what we want to do with the page, where the magnet's going to be. If I apply the magnets to this loose page, then this page will still be bouncy. So either this one is going to have to fold under to hold it still, or it has to become a pocket. I gotta turn this around. I don't like how it looks a little crooked. Guess it's okay. I think, what should we do? Ah, oh, I see. That one is a little bit crooked. Okay. So if it stays on top, it needs to be cut down and turned into a pocket. So that it can fold over and stay hinged. But if we want it to go up into a nice big fold out like this, see, one, here's one, two, three, And same way down here, it folds out three. One, two, three. There's the third one down here. So, whoops. So I think if we want it to have a total of six photos on it, one front and back on each one, then we would go ahead and fold it inward and apply our magnets like that. So, if that's the case, then we would draw a little line on the front measure up from that line. Let's see, the line goes up about a quarter inch from the bottom. So then you would measure up, oh, about a half an inch. Let me just draw a line. We'll see if it, if it looks right. There's a half. Yeah, a half inch would do it. And then we would go in a half inch or five eighths of an inch, whichever one you choose. So I'm going to hold this upside down for a minute. Here is five eighths. I would say come in five eighths of an inch from the side. I just kind of like that measurement. I don't know why. I guess because it 
makes a nice magnet placement. Okay. These lines are not going to show up anyway. So let's get the magnets out of our way so we don't forget them. And here they are. We will need four. One, two, three, four. Boy, I'm going to have to buy some new magnets. It has some super tiny ones in there, and it has some nice fat ones in there. Excuse my reach. Getting out my zots, because that's what I like to use to do my um, magnets. Just so simple. Does cost more money to buy zots, but I do like the ease of using them on the magnets and gluing them to paper. Really makes it simple and nice. Okay. And it's kind of see-through so you can put your zot right on this about the center of your magnet. And right about there. Okay. It likes to hang on to its own paper. Whoops, threw that on the floor. Okay. Now you're going to want to be sure, as you adjust these, that this is lined up this is nice and flat down along this edge where we have that quarter inch rise. Then you're going to want to be sure that this all lines up and that you're nice and flat along that, what is it, one fourth to a half inch rise and that these line up. Give it a good press down. Open it up and voila! Magnets are placed as if by magic. See that? Magnets here, magnets there. So let's put our tape on these. Don't need that much tape, but that's what I tore off. <laughs> so I'm going to use it all. It will just help hold the page down, right? Just burnishing down the tape with my little pokey tool here. I can't think of what you call it, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. So those will come up easy. Okay, should we work our way from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top? Let's go down to the bottom. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Let's start here. Now, how do we want to do this? We want them to be able to put photos on. This is the photo section. But we also want it to be look beautiful and clean and we want it to match with our pink, and I love pink and greenish blue together. So I am going to start with this one. I think. And let's see. 
Now I'm just going to measure it just to this side of this line. Oh, good thing I checked it because I was over it. And that would not have done us any good. So it's going to be inside this line. Oops. And inside this line. It's because my pencil's not sharp. Shame on me. If I sharpened it, it would be better. A lot easier to use a sharp pencil to make marks than it is to use a dull pencil to make marks. Okay, that works. So now we have to measure it to fit from the top to the bottom. And once again, you have to bring your mark to the inside of the other fold line. Let me cut that one off. Okay, I like it. Let's take our pencil marks off. And let's see. Let's add our little bit of pink. This is the raspberry from Color Box, is it? Yep. Let's let that dry. And let's have a look at our pocket over here. Well, now we could use this on the top. Or we could use it here. And then here. I kind of want this to be a journaling area here, maybe. I don't know how much that I have left. I know we have this left. And we have that. That'll go for that other pocket. We have that. Oh, there's one. And then we have these. Here's this one. It does not have to be all green. But let's see what we can do to start it out that way. I love this. Perhaps this would make a nice outer cover. Because this will come down over it. And then you open it and you're like, ooh, that's such a pretty page. Should we do that? It doesn't quite fit there. I think maybe I would like it to be this side. Like maybe right there. So let's cut right here first. So we can kind of measure that out how we want it. Now normally I would be wanting to just save paper. But it's a mini and I tend to use a little more paper when I make a mini. <laughs> just because I want things to fit. Oh, I don't know. Usually you're using a lot less paper. Let me cut those places off. Now we have a nice butterfly to save. And we have just a little journaling spot now. 
I don't know if that's going to fit. We can journal up here and we can journal in here. Perfect. Okay, let's give it some... Let's put... Front, page, bottom, flaps. Front, page, bottom, flaps. That way we'll remember where we're putting it. Now we may not get this all decorated together today, but we can always join back up and let each other know what we did. I'm trying to make just some short videos that we can do together. Okay, this one is probably dry. Let's go ahead and apply it. And this is a really just a very simple little book. It's a mini mini and um, it should go fairly fast. You could probably finish it in a couple of days, two to three days, if you have all the materials. Uh, it can be kind of eclectic if you want, or you can make it so that it all matches perfectly. Now I am using papers all out of the same pack. However, it's kind of an eclectic mix of them. I tried to get a little bit of sparkle on each page. I've tried to add the sea sawtooth hearts, which I probably should do right here. Shouldn't I? <coughs> so that it gets added to this. So let's go ahead and put those in. I'm going to have to move the tool instead of the paper this time. Perfect. Probably really want to do that prior to gluing it down <laughs> in case it messes up. Okay, if we're going to have that sawtooth edge there, then we need um, we need to put our pretty stuff in there. Let's see, do I have one that'll go there? I do. I'm going to cut a small piece of white to put under that one. Let's see, what do I have? I think I have this one that I cut off of it. So I just need to clip this down. It doesn't have to be very wide. Put a line of glue towards the bottom of it. Oh dear. <laughs> I've already lost my little piece of um, stuff. This one has come all undone. You know, it's hard to say where I threw it. <laughs> but I'll just cut another one. We'll need one for the last page anyway. Crazy, huh? <laughs> and Jan Jan. It's probably sitting right in front of me. So the reason that um, I'm applying these is because I wanted the bling to show up underneath the hearts before I put my glue down I'm going to make sure I have this removed this tape removed from the back of the washi tape 
Now, as you remember in this one, I am using the washi tape, the same washi tape throughout the whole album. I'm going to leave that attached to that little tool right there. I'm going to run just a small bead of glue very close to the bottom edge. You see that okay? I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to glue it right along that edge. The glue is going to run out from under it. But that's okay. We'll clean it up. You want to make sure it gets nice and glued down because washi, washi tape does not stay forever. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Everything takes a little more work than we sometimes want it to. Can't pull it up now. It's glued down. I kind of, when I was wiping it off there, I kind of uh, got it off of the white. And I don't really want that white showing because it'll stick out from the sawtooth edge. Hope I don't make it too crooked now. There. Okay, let's turn this this way. And this is going to get glue the white part inside here. And just your pink is going to show. Let me make sure my piece is the right size. And it appears to be. Boy, it's going to fit very tight because that sawtooth edge comes right down to the parts. I made it so the glue would be a little squishy. So it will kind of come up under those hearts there as well, but we'll wipe that away. But I want to be able to maneuver my glue for just a second. To get that under there. There we go. Almost. It was almost perfect. Okay. Now we went ahead and did this page, so let's go ahead and apply it before we lose it somewhere else. And that's going to help us keep matching things up. It's now dry. Oh look! <laughs> there it is. I found it. Okay, I have to keep pulling my sleeves up. I was too warm and now I've been in here working and it's warmed up. So I've been trying to figure out how to do my videos. My uh, Stamperia Blues was fun, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it very much, but I feel like it's just too long of a series and I do want to make full albums but I want to somehow keep them a little bit shorter. Um, so I think instead of showing the complete album like I did with Stamperia 
maybe in the future I will not show the making of the mats and stuff. Um, the photo mats themselves. Not this piece, but the photo mats. Um, I know my how I like to do this. And I like to get um, crafty with them. I like to make thick pages that flip and fold. I would love to make more pockets in this piece. But I'm trying to be calm and quiet with this one and do something just a little quicker this time so that um, you can enjoy it. Okay, if that one goes there and this one goes there, can that one go there and this one go here? Does that make sense? So it's all spaced apart. Or do we want it there, 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 and there? I'm looking at the flips and folds. Skipping one, putting one. That would be one way to do it. Let's, or do we want them all right next to each other? No, I don't think so. I think we want them spaced apart. And then we'll do something different here and there. And then the little one will go on here. Over on the hearts. And we'll put the other one over here. Then that will give us another paper that we can kind of match up to it. To put in there. Okay. <laughs> so I'm measuring the bottom one. Once again, we want to leave a little uh, space around each one. Going to cut that one. And there we go. There's that one. I think this will still fit up here for this one. Is my head in the way? Let me see. Is my eyes in the way now? <laughs> oh my goodness. So much to worry about. Oh, look at that. Almost perfect, but not quite. It does not quite fit. Okay. And then this one will go over here, I guess. So I'm going to fold this page back this direction. I'm going to measure it to fit with a little edge all the way around it. Let's look at this one. And I think we will use it. I want it to go clear up. And because it's such a small area, because it's so thin, I want to, sorry, gotta get off my cord. I want to look at this side and make sure that I slice these just the same. 
the same width. Okay, one second. One there and one there. Okay, I'm all tinkled up. Okay, gotta get rid of my sweater. Better make sure it hooks onto my chair. Erase the pencil lines. And um, if you're putting ink around your edges, now's the time to ink. You do not have to be using pink. I just chose it because it matches this washi tape that I'm using. So it kind of just kept matching up page to page. And that's the only reason I did it. Did I need to cut that off some more? Yes. Look at that. I didn't finish it. Hang on. I gotta finish this one. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So, pencil lines. Right, cut it off. That was good. <laughs> I'm going to ink away from the table over my garbage because I have so much of that fuzzy stuff coming off of my sponge dauber now. Put that one up there. I don't want the sponge things to get on my white paper. I've already <laughs> made some mistakes and accidentally touched the white paper with my pink fingers. There's one. Almost there. There's another one. And let's see. Is it this one? No. Must be this one. Yep. That's the one. Oh, I've got to erase the pencil line on it. These white erasers work really well until they start getting used too much. And then even after you clean them off, they don't quite take off the pencil lines anymore. So I usually buy new packs of these, and after I start wearing this one down, I toss it and pull out a new one of them. Let me put that up there. So this one's probably dry enough that we could use it. It's not that one, it's that one. Okay, I guess we did it first. Let me put a piece of pink paper under here so you can see where what I'm doing. Okay. Ha ha. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Paper. Oh, I love paper. You must too, because you're here with me. Oh, my dog brought me Happy Mail the other day again. Oh, I just, I can't wait to show it to you. It's going to be its own little video. I'm going to have my own Happy Mail videos. But I don't want to mix them with um, the tutorials if I can help it. 
but we'll see. I may have to. Just the way it is. Oh boy, we're going to front and back pages. Okay, there's that one. Let's go to this one. We haven't glued this down yet because we still need a base page in there before we do that. But we can glue this down. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh no, I just said I can't glue it down. But that's the other page. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just love this color with pink. Or raspberry, which is kind of a reddish pink, isn't it? Or purple pink. I don't know. But I love it. It is so beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so now this one is going to go here on this piece. Remember we skipped one. I'm just going to fold this one towards me so I can see it. I'm going to make sure I have the right piece of paper. This one was a little thinner. Get any little glue bits off of your paper. You don't want lumps underneath things. Dry glue off your fingers. Kind of falls off like peeling skin. Gross. But that's what it reminds me of. Make sure you're putting it on the right piece. Tuck this one under it. That will protect everything underneath. Now this one will, has the lumps on the other side because of the magnets, but it makes a lump on this side that you're going to have to work your paper around. because those magnets are still there, whether they're on this side or that side. They still provide a lump for you to work around. Okay, let's go to this bottom page. Okay. Now, I wonder what we should put on the inside. Am I going to use the same paper packet or am I going to use something different? What do you think we should do? We'll have to look and see what's in our paper packet. We'll have to look and see what we have left. That's the blue stuff. Now I can go with the bluish green in here. This is kind of nice. But I do have some of the green here. I don't know if I have enough. I have part of a birdcage here that can go over there or we can do it this way. And I am going to use this one, even though it looks a little too short. I, I do want to use it. Um, it's almost perfect. If I felt like I needed to cover that sixteenth of an inch up up there, I could. But I think I'm going to not. And I'm just going to cut this one off. Oh, 
Oh dear, which one is it? Do you know I have two pencil lines on here? Because I was going to use this on another piece and I didn't. I ended up finding a piece that fit. Okay. I really wanted a journaling page here with this pocket. Okay, I'm going to ink this one up over my garbage. Okay, I'm going to let it dry for just a minute. And let's see. Let's go ahead and put the other word page right over here. Draw my line. It needs to come back this way just slightly. Let me cut that one off. Perfect. I will ink this one up. I need to be watching my time, but I forgot to bring my phone in with me to keep track of time. I don't keep a clock in here. I should, but I don't. I used to. But the power goes out or something like that, and then I never like to reset them and and then I feel like I'm on a time clock in here and I don't like that so but doing my videos when I'm trying to just do quick ones I really need to set it for an hour and play for an hour and then get back to doing all the other stuff I do around here Oh my goodness. Did you hear that explosion? You'll have to go check my neighbor's house. I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Somebody was setting off large illegal fireworks. Um, they rattled my whole window here. Kind of surprised me. They set off three of them, and uh, anyway, just a little noisy for this time of year, since this is October. Anyway. Glad if everything was okay, the way it rattled my window, I was afraid something happened to one of the neighbor's houses. I'm going to set this under here to give me a little firm thing to press on. This little mat works perfect for this. My fingers all gluey. I'm going to have to pull it closer to me. That's all there is to it. Kind of rattled my cage, my bird cage. I have an old bird cage up here that was my grandmother's. So I guess celluloid bird cage. 
It got a little rattled too. Let's see, is that going to work? I hope so. Alright. So we have that one done, that one done, this one done. Now we need some things here, don't we? Don't really want to put that one in. Ooh. Wonder if I have this one. Let me look in the pack and we'll see. Oh, there's a pretty one. That's nice. That's nice. There's some more of that bird and birdcage one. Oh, there's some more of that one. I don't want them to all be the same. There's that one. That's very pretty. You know what? I think I like the pink. So, oh, do we have one or two of those? I have one. Okay, I'm going to cut this piece off so it's out of my way. All right. We know that these are the same size. So if we slice this straight down at this width, we will get the pieces we need. to make this work. Or we'll get at least most of the pieces we need, huh? Okay, once again measuring so it's not right on the fold lines. I got this one a little too close to the fold line. So we have that one. And we'll need this one. And then we'll need this one up here. So will it fit? Yes, it will. Let me cut these three pieces and then we will put ink around the edges. Okay, one slice, two slices, three slices. That's not that one. That's that one. That. Oh dear. Oh, that's right. Because that is got that piece there. Okay, so that is that one. because we still have that half inch there. That's that one. That is that one. Okay. Just going to put a B on here for bottom. Down this way. Top. And top one. Oh, 
Let's ink these guys up. And do that over my garbage once again. There's one. There's two. Let me put it up there so it's not sitting right on our paper. Forgot to erase all my pencil lines. <laughs> Look at that. Got the uh, ink on my eraser. Must be time to throw that one definitely away. Well, once again, you have magnets on the other side, but you're still going to have to make sure your paper gets laid down. Because it's just not a flat surface on this side anymore either. Okay, I like that. That's going to go up there. Okay, let's bring this down. Let's get that out of our way so you can see where we're at. I do think that it would be a little bit cheaper for me to get some regular glue on the pieces that are not touching pictures directly and um, use that when I'm gluing large areas because the glitter glue does get expensive if you have to use a lot of it. Oh that looks nice. I like it. Oh, while we're at it, let's glue this piece down. Just have to check uh, photo safety type glues. Be sure that I'm getting a good glue that will hold and last. Mm -hmm. Press it down for a second. If I don't glue that those little sawtooths down, they'll have a problem, won't they? Right there on the corners. Oh, nice. Got some nice journaling pages. Now let's go back up here and apply this one.
Okay, so you know, I'm going to tell you that I want you to work on this page. And then you can go ahead and start on your last, the back of the book. And let me know what you come up with. I would be very interested to know. You can send me pictures if you like. And I would be glad to post them on Dogwood Paper Arts page. Or I can invite you to the page. And you can post pictures there of what you've made. Um, let's see. But I do want you to know, let me check my time. I brought my phone back. What's our time? 6.52. We have about 10 minutes left that we can craft together. Now, I need one more of those pink ones right here, don't I? So that it matches. And we are folding those under like that. Okay. I think I've got glue on my book here somewhere. Do they? I don't want glue sitting on it somewhere. Okay. So it's going to go on this one. I like that with the coffee dye on it, or looks like a coffee dye anyway. So we're going to use that one. And we'll cut that straight down because we might be able to get it to fit on the other side or at the end of our book. On the last inside cover page. I do want you to know that you can add belly bands or pockets or whatever you would like to your book. You make it as your own. And uh, just bring your art to life on it. Oh, Angela, throw that one away get a new one. I will, I will. I'll get a new one right now. Okay, let's ink around the edges of this one. So what I would like to do with the Craft With Me series is um, we will work towards completing an album together, but I will work with you one hour. And then when we get back together, I'd like to know what you've gotten done. And if you have questions, um, we can uh, write about the questions back and forth. Now, I don't have time to let this dry completely, so I'm going to go ahead and take my towel go around the edges and dry the ink off. You see, it does ink. I'm going to set this under there just to give me a nice place to... Uh, no, not going to work right there. How about right there? It just evens it up with the book here. This little mat is perfect, i tell you. Perfect, perfect. So, with the Craft With Me series, um, I want to try and do them um, between the longer videos. Uh, we'll be working on different projects. Um, sometimes they'll not be a tutorial, but maybe a, just, um, I don't know. That you could craft with me, of course. Of course! I would love that. Um, some of them will be just uh, let's play with art. 
and others will be like this where we do a little one hour tutorial and then when we get back together we can come up with a finished a finished page when we get back together okay let's see if it all fits huh fold and fold and then the bottom one and then the top one oh look at that let's see oh yes very nice that's going to fit nicely together do you see that I'm sorry see well, let's see if we have time to finish this up okay we still have there and there and there so on this side we probably want hmm don't know what do we want what do we want? What do we want? I don't know, says I. Can't have that. That's for another album. So we have one, two of those that we can use. But... that way oh dear let's see think 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 see we got them all going this way that color and then we have them going this way on that color And this is this one with the kind of green but blue. So we could move to the blues. I have the blues. Do you have the blues too? I can't sing, can you? Oh, I do love this one. But we're already using it twice. So I really don't want to use that one, really. Really, really, I don't. Oh, that one's so pretty. Junk journal. That's where I think that one was going to go. That's a different album there. A different paper series. We do have some more of that one. Oh, we do have that. That's so pretty. We do have that. Oh, music paper is good. We do have some more of that one. Oh, I love that one. Junk journal. Ooh, look at this. How does that go with this one? Uh, not so well. I mean, it goes, but it doesn't go. We do have this one. I haven't used this yet. And that does go with it, doesn't it? It's a little more blue. And we have another one of those. Oh, and we have this one. That'd make a nice junk journal page too, wouldn't it? With that color fabric, or fabric. 
not fabric, is it? But I need it to go with this one. So let's have a peek. That's that one. Okay. So we have that one. Let me look up there. Oh, that's quite a bit darker, isn't it? We do have the music, which is similar to that. I feel kind of like we should use up our what we have out. We could use that. That will match. It's a different paper. However, it does kind of fall right in with the pinks and blues and greens, doesn't it? And then we have that one. But that one really says junk journal to me, too. Can you tell I want to make a junk journal? Okay, don't want to use that one. Let's look at this one. No, no, Angela, no, no, no. Well, let's see, I have something over here. I have this, which is what this one is out of. See, right there it is. Ooh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. And that goes with that pink. Look at that. Even with the yellow, it's good. It's, it's okay. And I have lots of this. Look at that. I have it with a little less yellow. Some purples. What's the difference? Big bugs, big writing. Small flowers. What do you think? Can we use it? That's two ocean. Oh, that's pretty too. Let me pull that one. We'll take a look at both of those. Okay. On a bicycle belt for Boy, I have no voice today. I am so sorry. Um, I think either one is perfect. I think so. What do you think? Oh, that's so pretty too. That kind of goes better, doesn't it? It has the pink and the green. Okay, I've made a decision. I don't want these to all be the same. So I think, perhaps, we will put the pink in between rid of those. They need to go over in the I'm finished with you box. I would use that music one, but the bars are too far apart. This one. I'm going to come back and grab that one out too. Okay. 
Let me check my time. I think our time is up. Yep, it's 7.06. So I am going to finish up my pages with these two. I'm going to see what I can do to kind of get them to cooperate together. I am going to cut some little small pieces to go on these two. I'm not going to worry about this one eighth, but I would like to cover this one and this one. And we have our closure because it's magnets, so we don't have to worry about that. We've done that together. So, I think on this one I'm going to look for something a little fancier maybe. I would like something, you know, because this is the open and it's got this. So I'd kind of like to find something to go here that has some sparkle to it. So, anyway, let's get back together in a couple days and we'll work on, we'll show each other these pages that are finished up and we will start on the back page and we'll see how it's going. So let me fold this in correctly. I have to put this one in. Oh dear, I have that one to do too. I'm going to fold this one in, this one up, and this one down. Oh look at that, nice. So did I show you what I ended up with back here? I use these papers. See how far apart those bars are? I just thought maybe it was a little too much. But I have a little tuck pocket back here. A little tuck pocket back here. Well, there, how's that? Oh, there you go. See? There we go. And then my last page is just like my front page, except for I had this in my scrap bin. So I pulled that out of the scrap bin and used it there. I would like to take all my scraps and make a scrap book with them, just out of scraps. So hopefully we'll do that series together too. Anyway, our time is up. I didn't want to keep you too long. I just wanted to get back to you on the Craft With Me mini series, the mini album mini series. And gosh, it's always so hard to say goodbye, but it's time. So I will talk to you very soon. I enjoyed spending this hour and a half with you, is it? Longer than I thought. I was going to just spend an hour. But I'll get there where we do these little one hour series. And then we'll have, of course, the longer series, like when we do the big regular albums, okay? All right. I will talk to you soon. Bye bye for now. This is Angela saying thank you very much for joining me and Dogwood Paper Arts for this little mini album mini series. And I will see you in a few days. Bye bye for now.